Okay, are we still recording? We're still good. We're recording. Okay. Um, I turned down the volume on my gain, um, which I can explain in another video. But uh, the only um, the only instrument that I play that you guys won't see in like live person kind of thing, like that I'm going to be doing right now, is going to be um, the piano because I can't bring this whole setup upstairs without stopping. And right now I still don't have my editing software. Oh, and the hammer dulcimer because I can't pull it out as often as I would like. <sighs> Sorry, catching my breath. I ran all the way up and down. And I still don't have my harmonicas on me. Okay. Well, the game is loud enough. You guys can still hear me talk. So enjoy the lovely basket hanging up, up there for two seconds. I gotta get my harmonica stuff. The heck did I put that? There it is. Harmonicas. Okay, so this is to make up for missing Wednesday's video. I thought yesterday was Tuesday, even though I know the day before was Tuesday because I had a doctor's appointment. I've got some serious gaps in my teeth. I know good. Anyway, um, I thought yesterday was Tuesday and then I realized it was Wednesday um, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna give you a little little sampler of some of the stuff I can play now I can play I don't know if we'll be able to find it but I can play a tiny tidbit of the I don't know if I could play it now but which key is this this is they each got their key written on them don't they <laughs> Sorry. Hold on. Sorry about your ears. Okay. That's all you're getting of that right now at least um turn back up the game um because i don't have a really good like longer harmonica i used to have one that was like this plus like this that was like a full key these little dinky ones are ones you can buy anywhere um most of my inch actually that one that one okay everything but our piano and this and the hammer dulcimer, which you guys, I can look up a video and maybe put it in the link or we'll do that after. Um, all came from Derek Moore um, and his Drayton School of Music. He also has a serious business he runs out of there, I think, still. Um, good place to get instruments. He sells used, he sells brand new. Um, he gives lessons, piano, guitar, different things. He has a violin teacher, which... Um, I kind of quit on her because I'm not built the way that she wants me to play it. <laughs> but I can still play it a little bit. Um, I'm not going to make any promises that it's not going to be screechy when I get to that instrument, but that'll be the one of the last ones. Um, anyway, when I started playing, I started with a harmonica essentially, but when I started taking lessons, I started, the only two instruments I've really had lessons lessons on are the piano. and the guitar. But yeah, um, basically the piano lessons for me were kind of, as, as much as I appreciated them and as much as I enjoyed them, um, they were good, but at the same time, they were kind of pointless as far as I was, I'm concerned because I can't read music for the life of me. And even when I do take the time to do it, it takes forever. So yeah, I have harmonicas and they all come in different keys. So this one's G, if I can find the note. Um, I might have a couple different Gs. 
Um, I ha I don't have all plastic. This one's B. So if you listen. See, that's a different key. Now, each note that you see on the piano has a key. So it's like notes that you can play that sound correct. This one's a C, I think. So. Hold on, I'm gonna see if I can't find them in the orders that they go in. That one's upside down. That one's also a C. Yeah, I have two C's. Yeah, that's because this one came in a pack, but I didn't need my D. So, G is first. Which one's G? That one's C. That one's G. A, B, C, D. Okay, so listen to this. And this is how my ear works, because I somehow my brain is smart en not smart enough to read music, but it's smart enough to pick this up. I want you to listen to the differences in pitch. <laughs> actually like a chord sort of it's like a seventh I think G <laughs> see okay so I started with the harmonica when I was really little and most kids just go <laughs> And I can't play it on the little one, but the first song I figured out was this old song that goes something like Catch a falling star and put it in your pocket, never let it fade away. Something like that. I'm probably off key with that. Um, and after that, I learned some piano. Um, and I had to learn the piano because my sister learned the piano. Um, and I had a love-hate relationship with that thing. I loved the sound that came out of it, but I hated having to read notes. Like, I literally can't read them. I can tell that that it's a G when I play a G. Um, I'll, I'll just pull the guitar up and play the chord. I'll... Sorry. Hold on, I'm gonna unplug this. Uh, plug this in back up here. So this is a G. And I can tell that's a G, but if you if it were like Now those would be the notes you hit on the piano. And I can tell that just right off the bat to play the G chord. Now don't ask me how it works. I'm pretty sure if you ask anybody who has a musical ear how it works, they'll tell you, I don't know. Ask the man upstairs. Seriously, I have no idea. Um, so after the piano came, oh god, what would have been first? The guitar. I had a friend who was into learning the guitar and he got me into the idea and I kind of had admired the guitar for a while and I have more skill as far as like different things I can do with the guitar but I can play less chords on the guitar than I can with the piano from the little bit that I do understand about music notes. Um, learning the guitar helped me improve my piano and I can't put my foot on that because that's my violin. So up goes the knee onto my knee, which is gonna hurt my leg. But <coughs> when I started, I played like flat guitar. So it wasn't even with that, it was kind of just like, kind of like that. And uh, now I can do stuff like this. Um, not going to play the entire song otherwise this vlog is going to be too long because it's already running into nine minutes um but yeah um that I did learn but one thing that I did teach myself was once I latch on to something it seems to me like I can never forget it which is going to be proved in the, in a few minutes by the violin 
after the guitar, which we're gonna set up there, that's my baby, I, um, I took a band class. There's a whole story behind that that you guys are not ever gonna learn about. Didn't even know I signed up for that band class, but okay. Um, and I learned how to play the flute. Um, not very well, mind you. I mean, like, I relied on the person next to me and the trumpet because the trumpet often plays the same melody as the flute or pretty close to it when my flute partner wasn't there. Which was very rare, but... play it without something to play it with right now um it won't be on this one but i can look it up the one that i play it with is glee usually um and that's the thing i don't understand how i can i don't even understand like it's baffling to me how it works um Skip, 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 skip. that it's not perfect of course that's number one because my flute is cold from sitting in that flute case for so long and number two because I need to practice that more uh, my flute that is um and then there's these things uh, I can't remember his name but he's at uh, St. Jacob's farmers market on a pretty regular basis um, Ramos is what it says on here so I don't know if that's his brand or if that's what it his name is or whatever it's basically the same thing as this that's the way that these these mouthpieces work do you see this do you see how the hole is you have to blow over the hole it's like a bottle and this one's a little harder to do because it's harder to position and I think this pipe is crooked I don't have the note. I don't have the note. Dang it. That was Phantom of the Opera. I feel like I should turn up the gain and try that again. But yeah, that's that. Um, this is going to go back on the table because it's more fragile than some of the other instruments. Because it is bamboo. Um, I'm not sure if he's Native American or what, but he's Native. 
He's either Native American or he's from South America. And then we're going to pull out the big guns. We're going to pull out the bio win and see if we can win with the bio win. Which we probably won't win with the bio win because I suck at the violin. Anyway, yeah. So then, I don't know what piqued my interest with the violin. I honestly can't remember. I think it was because I wanted the flute, but the violin was cheaper. So I thought, hey, why not go with the violin? Hold on, two seconds. I just had to let him know I'm recording. So then... Personally, the next instrument I really want is either the trumpet or the saxophone, but I am not going to ask for anything and I'm not going to buy anything for a while yet. At least not until I get all my YouTube related stuff. I mean, like, a saxophone was a little easier. Speaking of which, the guys from band class and the stupid careless whisper, you ruined that song for me. This is probably too straight don't care at this point so I'm gonna show you something along the lines of where you have to have it like that and your pinky lets it go I can't do that my wrists are weird and then the way that my violin teacher had her thumb bent under her violin eh -eh, ain't happening she's been playing violin since she was small so she's probably double jointed and her body is adapted so if she ever watches this, she'd always be like, well, up straight. Yep, nope, doesn't work. I'm probably playing it on the wrong side too. I can't remember which side I'm supposed to play it on. Yeah, this one's gotta go gain down, gain down. Gain down. Okay. Oh, and we're gonna back up the microphone. Cause this one's the loudest next to the guitar. Piano's volume controllable. So, here we go. Um, let me think of what I can do. out of the violin because I would need to work on it ten times more um but yeah those are the instruments that I play um and as you guys all know at least those of you who are probably gonna even watch this um I also sing um I have dallied with the trumpet I should probably look that up <coughs> phlegmy bronchitis not fun not contagious but not fun. At least the one that I have isn't contagious. Oh, anyway, um, cool thing about the violin, I'm gonna pull this back up and turn up the gain. I'm not gonna put on my headphones yet. Um, do you see the bridge? Never, ever try to flatten that bridge. Because that bridge is held up by the strings and you're just gonna have strings flying everywhere. Um, and then there's little tuning pegs there and then there are these. Um, I have no idea how long my violin was sitting in that box that they that I got it from but the first time I got somebody to tune it for me which I can't tune it so it's probably out of tune um the first time I got somebody to tune it for me um they snapped one of the strings not on purpose mind you it just happened because it was probably sitting there for so long and the 
things were out of tune and stuff and I've got a lot of white powder on this which you probably can't see thanks to the light but that's because I've used too much rosin because I don't know I, do, I don't I don't understand where the stop point for rosin is I feel like there isn't a stop point because the point is to make it stick to the strings so the strings vibrate but I mean like I feel like I should probably clean it off can you guys see me yes you can see my face every once in a while but I mean like I don't pull out my violin very oh there's my bow very often and it, look at this it comes with a nice little nifty carrying case and everything with like the thing for the string or not the string the the, the the bow it's got a spare spot for a spare bow which I don't have which I probably should get eventually if I play this more often I will and then I've got some rosin in there got my broken string in there and to put this one back in though And the bow, yes, the bows are made out of horse hair. That's not a rumor. Um, there are other ones you can get that are made out of synthetic stuff, probably. But, I mean, like, as long as they're not slaughtering the horse to make the bows, I feel like it's fine. And as long as the hair grows back. I don't know if horse hair grows back or not. Yep, that's sticking out. Okay, we're gonna put you up. You can't. We gotta put you down. Which is nice. And then I've got a nice little zipper case up here for music, which is kind of pointless because any music that you get with any instrument is going to be too thin. So maybe it's for strings and stuff. But and number one, I know how to string a guitar. I know how to tune a guitar a little bit. Um, but as far as stringing and tuning a violin, I would take it somewhere to get that done. I would never be able to do that on my own. Um, well, yeah, I think that's it for the instruments. We're going to try to look up that uh, trumpet one. Did I not share it? Oops. Okay, hold on, guys. I'm just going to share this. <laughs> I got to start sharing things when I do this. Oh, we're at 22. This is going to be the longest vlog ever. Leave. Um, I don't know if it's on my channel or not. Somewhere. Nope, okay, we're gonna go loading. Guitar picks. Um, let's see. See if I can't find it. But I have tried the trumpet once. And it didn't turn out too bad. I don't know if it was on this one or the other one. <sighs> We're gonna have to wait for it to load, aren't we? Oh well. But yeah, so those are the instruments I can play, more or less. Um, I mean, like, as, it's kind of obvious that the violin is not my strong suit. <laughs> um, so let's see if that loaded a bit better now. Yeah. Um, I don't know if it would be on... Drop my mess. Uh, now we gotta wait. But yeah. Anyway, so piano I've been playing since I about grade two or three, I think. One, two, three. I don't know. I'll have to ask that. I can't remember. Um, and then it was guitar in grade ten. And then the flute. Then after the flute was the violin, and then I finally got my flute. Um you're not seeing half of this no okay the way that it's going is that I don't have the screen big till I find it okay we're not gonna play all but there's gonna be something in here probably I mean, like I've tried the the guitar with the violin bow which actually didn't turn out too bad I'm gonna pause that probably in here somewhere Mm, 
nope, not that one. Okay, we're gonna pause this. This has got some flute stuff in this playlist. I'm trying to find it for you guys. I mean, like, I don't want to show you guys my entire channel. I have stuff for myself. There it is. My first adventure with the trumpet. Okay, hold on. We're gonna pause. And then we're gonna fix open broadcast software. I'm pull you back down. I'm gonna cringe. I've got like clown hair. I'm gonna actually, my hair isn't brushed. But I want to show you guys I have hair now. Um, and I want to show you guys why I wanted to grow up my hair. Oh, position to the side. Fit to screen. Okay, here we go. That's not what I wanted. Oh God, look at that hair. And those glasses. Yeah, hello, supply teacher. I forget your name. This would be the next instrument I would want to buy. And there's that fail. But yeah. Oh god, that's even loud in my ears. Yeah, um, so honestly, it's even a mystery to me. Okay, number one, it's a mystery to me why the heck I chopped off all my hair. Well, no, it's not a mystery. I had reasons that I'm not going to explain on camera. Fit to screen. Okay, there we go. There we go. But a most important thing is that I have no idea how the musical ear works. I can pick up, I didn't record the saxophone. I wish I would have, um, but there would have been no way I would have had time to upload it at all let alone thought I would have uploaded it um, because that was on the last or the second last day of school. It was one of the last few days of school. Um, but yeah, anyway, um, that turned out okay. I have no idea what it is. Whenever I pick up an instrument, it always works out for me. Um, which then makes the struggle of focusing in on one instrument so hard. But I've learned over the years that because of, like, it's not just because of my ADHD. I'm gonna put my mess back up in the ponytail, which is gone from bun to ponytail now that it's long enough. Um, but yeah. You'll know I have washed, and well, I wash my hair, like, every couple of days because for reasons I can explain in another video so that way we're not here till tomorrow. Um, but yeah, so... I have no idea what it is and the only way I can describe it is is that if there's a song in my head and I have to get it out usually it'll come out on an instrument and if I'm trying to play a new instrument new instrument and I'm trying to figure it out on my own like the saxophone and the trumpet the first two songs I tried to figure out were hot cross buns or Mary had a little lamb or something like that um and I got a little better at it as I went on. I mean, like, the first thing I did was try to get a decent sound out of it, and then I started recording it. So maybe the trumpet might be the next instrument I tackle, but I want to get a little better at the instruments I have. But at the same time, it's like that... It's like a hunger and a need to, like, have something new. Like, you know how when you see the newest game come out in a series of games, like those of you who play Call of Duty, you want the newest game and you want it now, but then you have to upgrade your system. 
it's like that. I have to upgrade my skills with my flute and my violin because with the trumpet, it's it's the same system in my head, the way that it works with the violin. With the violin, you have to hear the pitch in your head. So I feel like I'd have to get decent enough at the violin, which I don't pull out enough, before I could even justify getting a trumpet. Saxophone, on the other hand, I'm okay enough at the flute. I could get a saxophone if I wanted one, but it's not my budget right now. I have a set budget and my money, like with the money that I make in my head, I don't have it ever written down because if I write it down and I need something first, then I'm going to get what I want before what I need because that'll be first on the list. So if it's in my head, I can rearrange it like you would with a computer, like take this document, move it down here and then move that document up there, whatever. Um, but the thing is, is that with me personally, I find that I would, I have yet, I mean, like, even percussion, even though it falls apart after a few minutes, I have yet to find an instrument that I can't at least pick out one tune on. Even the hammer dulcimer. The hammer dulcimer, actually, I should look up a uh, hammer dulcimer. Okay. Okay, this is the last video we're looking up. Hmm. This this is the other instrument. Um a shout out to my uncle Nick. Um I want nothing more than to pull this thing out on a daily basis and play it, but I can't. So whenever I get the chance to, aka when dad's gone for more than three hours, usually I pull it out. <laughs> and then I put it back. But I mean, like, it's so hard to tune it. Oh, that sounds like a good song. Just in general. Oops. <laughs> Hi, I'm Ted Yoder. Welcome to Fan Friday. Are you gonna s and, uh, come welcome on? Welcome to my little office slash studio up here. Um, this week is our anniversary. Don and I have been married for 15 okay, years. Okay, that's great, dude. Thank you for the video. Uh, for our anniversary, from a dear friend of ours uh, down in Nashville, Tennessee. Her name is Debbie Dearman. Our anniversary from a dear friend of ours. And it's buffering. And it's buffering. Last week, and so. It was a lot more fun to play than what I thought it was. So after a day and a half, here you go. Yeah, if you like the hammer doll dulcimer, go subscribe to Ted Yodeler. You can see that there. I'm actually going to subscribe to him now. I'm going to do a cover of that song eventually. Not with the dulcimer, mind you, but... Uh, kind of on my own thingy without the dulcimer. I mean, like, I could probably do it with the guitar and the piano. But, yeah. Anyway, um, this video's gone on long enough. I hope you guys have an amazing rest of your week. Um, my birthday's next week. I've decided I'm not going to vlog on my birthday, but... You guys get to watch me do something embarrassing, at least as far as I'm concerned, because I can't dance. And I'm hoping to get my editing software on my birthday, so I might try recording some of the television stuff with just my computer or my camcorder, and then record me with my uh, 
computer. Or I might just have it where the computer's sitting up there and you guys get to watch a side view of me dancing. Or at least trying to and failing. But yeah, uh, I hope you guys have an amazing week. Happy Thursday. Uh, tomorrow's Friday. Whoop, whoop. Uh, and I will see you guys next Wednesday or Thursday. We're probably going to upload on Thursday after my birthday and tell you guys what I got. If I got anything exciting. Or if I'm going to be buying some more game stuff. Or if I got anything when I went shopping with my one of my best friends on Tuesday. That is worth noting. Um, but yeah. Anyway, uh, yeah, see you guys. Bye-bye.